Psalms chapter 50 and verse 16. Go on. But unto the wicked. But unto the wicked. Who do you, who, who's the wicked of the earth? Come, come, pass. Right. You're right. Come, You're come, right. Come. Go on. For unto the wicked, come. God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes? Go on. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth. So the Mosai said, What have you to do to declare his statutes, to talk about his book? Yeah, yeah. Or to take his statutes? You're a drunk pastor. That's what I'm saying. No, no, no. You're a pastor and you're drunk. No, no, no. Stop it. Get some help. That's it. Yeah, because you're all into sodomy, man. Oh, so like, yeah, read that, read that. Let me tell you something. The English this people, right, and our mind, you know, there's no issue that we're going to do that, guys. We're not black, though. But, in God's eyes, we're all the same. No, we're not. Now, what kind of... What you, you need to me seven. I beg your pardon? Six. Are we all the same? We're all the same. Do you believe that, yeah? Okay, listen. I can give you wrong. Though. <laughs> well, yeah, go. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. Let's, let's, now, bring this on out first. Yeah. If you think we're uh, all the same, last uh, verse. Let's Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For what? thou, for thou art an holy people. This this book is written to the Israelites. In case you didn't know, right? The Israelites. This is who Moses is talking to. That's right. For thou art an holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. Go on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. No, equal to. Above uh -huh. all people. Now we're all the same. Above uh -huh. all people. Now we all bleed red. Above, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So according to that verse, are the Israelites above all people that are upon the face of the earth? Yes or no? We ran 2,000 years ago. So God changed? Hang on, let me out. So did God change? Which we ran 2,000 years ago. Why is that relevant? Does, did God change? Which we ran because you, you created all these religions. If you don't believe in me, Jesus, you said that. Who said that? What what book is that? What book and chapter and verse? Psalms what? You see that? You're just winging it. You gonna get a recompense for that wickedness, thinking you finesse when you out here cheating. Think it's on the low, but the most high sees it Worked out too late, that you wanna keep it Now you wanna lost and you're all in your feelings That hurts, don't it, don't it That, that, don't it, don't it That, that, don't it, don't it That, that, don't it Come on, come on, you good, yeah? Come on, call me a shala Call me a shala See that? The war is going out, man um, Can you give me uh, Psalm 119 and verse 4? Can you give me uh, Romans 10 and 2? Uh, for sure. See that? But the Mosai is getting ready to build a break this place, ah. man. He's already started. Right? Now, I don't see none of our people. It's full of Edomites right now. Yeah. Yeah, Psalm 119 and verse 4. 119 and verse 4. And it reads, let them not let them now fear let them now that fear the lord say that his mercy endure forever his mercy does what that his mercy endure forever so his mercy does endure forever right. for his people man right. right so we have to be in in you got more um, thou has commanded us to keep thy precept diligently go on Thou has commanded us to keep that precept diligently. Come, so we're supposed to keep the precepts of the Lord very diligently, man. Very diligently, we have to stay true to this word. But his mercy endures forever. How you doing, sisters? Sis, sis, I know you're smiling. Sister. Can I ask you a question before you go? Sister. You'd be an Israelite, you need to repent as an Israelite. Right. 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 It's our spirit. Yes, brother. With a heart. Brother. Yes, bro. Yes, King. Bro. Hey. Sodomite, man. We even give you a Sodomite spirit. <laughs> Moving a bit. Spooky. How you doing, King? With a hood up. Hey, bro. Yeah, yeah. Can I ask you a question? Do you believe in the Bible? Two minutes, bro. Two minutes. Do you believe in the Bible? Come, bro. You do? Come, come. Give me two minutes. Let me show you something. Two minutes. Come, come, bro. If you, we'll you believe in the Bible, we'll praise us to the most high, man. Yeah, Top man. What's your name, King? Sorry? Sorry? Emmanuel, mighty name, man. Mighty. mighty name. So you believe in the Bible, right? Would you class yourself as Christian? You would, right? What does what does being Christian mean? What does it mean to be a Christian? Okay. Being thankful for what? For life. 
Oh, praises. Give, give me that Romans 10 and 2. Being thankful for life, right? But there's a thing about us as a people, right? When we, don't we fill up the churches, like so-called black people? Like we go to church every Sunday, we're very religious, right? But let me show you something. It's Romans chapter 10, verse 2. But I bear the record that they have a zeal of God. We have a zeal of God. You know what does it mean to have a zeal for something? I mean, you really want something. You really, you really like, you wake up every day and that's what you want to do. That's what you, you got, you're very passionate about it, right? right? We're passionate about God. Uh, what? But not according to knowledge. Uh, what? But, but not, not according, according to... Is that it? Be honest, does your church actually teach any God? I've been to church. They don't teach no God's laws. The pastor stands up there, he holds the Bible, he reads one precept, and then closes the book and just tells you how he feels. Right. Right? And tells you how, how he feels. Look, can, you, can, you can you give me um, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 9? The pastor tells you how he feels, but we're supposed to keep God's laws. Did you know that? We're supposed to keep God's laws. Right. Give, give, right. me, um, give me uh, Matthew 15. Nah. Nah. No. Matthew 15 and 3. And I know what you're talking about. But go on. Go to that one. Um, Jeremiah 17 and 9. This is what God said about your heart. Right? Now, this is the book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse number 9. And it reads, The heart is deceitful above all things. Would you read that again? The heart is deceitful above all things. things. Go on. And desperately wicked. Right. Who can know it? So our heart is deceitful because today you can wake up and feel like, oh, I want to do this. Right. And tomorrow you wake up, you feel like, oh, why did I do that? I hate that. So you're, we're constantly changing as a people. Right. That's why we have to stick to God's laws. God doesn't change. You know that, right? So from the beginning, he set laws with the, with the children of Israel. Did you know that? Did you know that? You didn't. How long have you been going to church? For four years. And you still don't know that you more than likely be an Israelite. You're God's chosen people. That's why we have the zeal of God. Right. We, 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 we got, we're very passionate about God. Mm -hmm. But it's not according to knowledge. Right. It's not according to what God has actually said. Teacher. Because God literally made a covenant, which is an, it was a, it was a, it's a contract, a blood contract. You know, yeah. you know with Moses, right? When Moses said, let my people go, why do you think he said that? The people of Israel, they were, they were slaves. Right? You know about the story of Moses when he parted the Red Sea, walked through the Red Sea, right? He freed the Israelites from slavery. Right. When, it, when he took them to the wilderness, the Most High gave him commandments to give to the Israelites. Right. right? Those commandments we were supposed to keep, but because we didn't keep it, this is what happened. We ended up here. Right? right? We ended up, what? Well, look at this. Look. From the west coast of Africa, shipped to the, uh, to the Americas, to Europe. This is what happened to our people. Good. Because we didn't keep God's commandments. Uh -huh. Right? Go on. This is the book of Nahum, chapter 3 and verse 10. Yet she was carried away. She went into captivity. Her young children were also dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets. Mm. And they cast lots for her honorable men. Mm. And all her great men were bound in chains. All her great men were bound in chains. That's our people. We were bound in chains. This is throughout history. You can see this. When you watch movies about slaves, we are the slaves. Have you ever seen white people being slaves? Ever. 12 Years a Slave, Django, right? What, what's, other, what's other slave movies that we know? Yeah. Roots. Roots. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Who, who are the, every single movie that you watch about slaves, who are the slaves? Black people. Right? Why is that? Because we really are God's chosen people. Right. We have a seal of God, right. but not according to knowledge because That's we're right. not keeping God's laws. I'm going to give you a couple of laws and I'm going to let you go, all right? Give me um, Leviticus 11. What type of foods do you like to eat? Anything. So a bit of bacon. You don't eat bacon? All right. What about crabs? Hmm? Crabs. <laughs> no. Shellfish. All praises, man. All praises. Okay. Chicken. Okay. You can live because 21 and 5. Right? And you're keeping the commandment right now that you don't even realize. Let's let's read that one first. Leviticus yeah. 21 and 5. Yeah, right? Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. 
and it reads, they shall not make boldness upon their head, uh -huh. neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Neither shall they shave off the corners of their beard. Remember, this is a commandment that God made with the Israelites, right? So he said to them, you shall not shave off the corners of your beard. So we're not supposed to shave our beard. You can trim it up, but you can just, you got to keep letting it grow, just like you're doing right now. Right. right, that's a commandment that you're keeping right now. Right. Right. Um, you, can you give me a Leviticus 11 and 7? I know you say you don't you don't eat any sort of like uh, prawns and crabs and things like that, but I want to show you that it's actually in the Bible that we're not supposed to do that. All right, and I'm going to give you a fly. Right. Leviticus chapter 11, verse 7. Mm -hmm. And the swine, though he divide the hook mm -hmm. and be cloven footed. You know what swine is? Swine. Pig. Yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. God said the swine is unclean because he doesn't chew the cud. He doesn't digest his food properly. Right? right? Um, go down to keep reading, sorry. Of their flesh shall you not eat. Uh -huh. And their carcass shall you not touch. Go on. They are unclean to you. Go on. These shall you eat of all that are in the waters. Now he's going to tell you what you can eat that comes out of the waters. Whatsoever have fins and scales in the waters, mm -hmm. in the seas, mm -hmm. and in the rivers, mm -hmm. them shall ye eat. Right. And all that have not fins and scales uh -huh. in the seas and in the rivers, right. of all that move in the waters, mm -hmm. and of any living thing mm -hmm. which is in the waters, mm -hmm. they shall be an abomination unto you. They are an abomination. Anything that comes out of the waters that doesn't have fins and scales, right. it has to have both. Right. Fins and scales. There's loads of fish that have fins and scales. Tilapia, bass, cod, right? Crabs don't have fins and scales. Shellfish don't have fins and scales. Prawns, they don't have fins and scales, right? Um, what's the, what's the, um, the bottom? Catfish doesn't have fins and scales. So we can't eat those food because they're, they're an abomination. Right? So if you if you have a zeal of God like, like I know you have, what are you gonna start doing now? Oh phrases. But the good thing is we have to give me uh, give me numbers 15 and 38. We have to I'm gonna give you the last one. We have to start keeping God's commandments. Right. Because the reason why we went into slavery, why do you think that is? Because we disobey God's laws. That's why God made it a covenant with us and we disobey God's law so he put us in slavery. So what do you think we have to do in order to, to, to come back to God? In order to get out of slavery? Because believe it or not, we're still in slavery. It's good. Sorry? Say that again. By his laws. Abide by his laws. That's spot on. You see that? You see that? It's easy. Go on. Bring it out. This will be the last one. Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38 uh -huh. and it reads Speak unto the children of Israel yeah. and bid them that they make them fringes You see, you see right here? These are fringes Brothers got fringes yeah. Fringes Brothers got fringes, right? In the borders of their garments Go on. Throughout their generation uh -huh. Throughout their generation them that they put on the upon the fringe uh -huh. of, the, of the border a ribbon of blue right and it shall be unto you for a fringe that you may look upon it uh -huh. and remember all the commandments of the lord and do them and do them so we're supposed to do fringes for uh, from generation to generation so we're still having babies so you're still supposed to keep fringes right right and it's to, to remind you to do the commandments of the lord because right. it's easy to forget right right so i'm gonna leave you with that bro yeah, look into that, Emmanuel. Yeah, if you're an Israelite. There's a there's a QR code on there. You can scan it. We've got a YouTube channel. Have a look on that, bro, and get a Bible and read along as well. So don't take all our word for it, right? Don't take every man's word for for saying. Get people to prove things to you. Well, the reason why we ended up where we are is because we don't like to ask questions. Right. 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 We just take everything people tell us and we run with it. Right. People tell us we're black. We say, oh yeah, we're black. Right. But are you the same color as your jacket? No. Right. We're different shades of brown. So right. why do we say we're black? Right. And they call themselves white. We say, oh yeah, white people. They're not. They're not like white as this sheep right here. They're red. Right. They're closer to red than they are white. Right. But we call them white because we don't ask questions. Right. But in the last day, we need to start asking questions. When you go to church, ask your pastor questions. He's not going to like it, but you need to ask him questions because you need to know the truth. Right. right? You need to know the truth. Okay. I promise you this will be the last one. Right? This I promise. Give me uh, give me John 8 and 32. Right? You need to you need to know the truth, man. Come on, that's right. Right. Bring that up. John 8 and 32. Come on. Right. It's the book of John, 
chapter 8 and verse 32. And it reads, ooh, windy out here. Damn, thank you, bro. Here we go, one more. 8 and verse 32. And it reads, and it reads, and ye shall know the truth, uh -huh. and the truth shall make you free. It says the truth is going to make you free. When someone, when, you, when, I used, when I used to be young, when someone say, oh, oh, give me that, and I say, no, they'll be like, oh, make me, right? When you say that, make me, it's like, there's, there's going to be a struggle there. Right. It's not, it's not going to come easy. Yeah. Some people say, oh, the truth will set you free. No, it's nah. going to make you free. Nah. Because with the truth, now you have to work at it to become mm. free. That's true. Right? Because making something is not as easy as setting something. If right. I say, oh, I'm going to set you free, oh, you're going to go. Right. If I say, I'm going to make you free, meaning I'm going to break chains, I'm going to do certain things that's going to get nah. you to become free. Nah. See what I'm saying? Nah. So this truth, you know when you're an Israelite that you have to keep the commandments, it's going to make you free. It's right. going to be work now that you have to yeah. do. All right, look into that, bro. Oh, All right, God bless you, King. Bless you, bro. All praises, man. Thank you, bro. All praises to the Most High. Ah, all praises. Ah, the word is going out, man. Ah, ah. The word is going out. Ah. Um, give me, uh, what are you doing, man? All right. I'm going to blank for a little bit, man. I'm going to blank for a little bit, man. Hey, give me, give me, <laughs> uh, give me uh, Galatians uh, 2 and 16. Uh, give me uh, Romans 2 and 13. Come on, push on. Galatians 2 and 16. Romans. Yes. Galatians chapter 2 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Knowing that a man is not is not in is not sorry is not justified uh -huh. by the works of the law, right. but by the faith of Yahweh Shai. Uh -huh. Even we have believed in Yahweh Shai that we might be justified by the faith of Yahweh Shai and not by the works of the law. So we're not justified by the works of the law, right? And a lot of Christians love to use that. You see, we're not justified by the works of the law, but what does that mean though? The same author that wrote that also wrote this. Go on, bring it out. Romans chapter 2, verse 13. Uh-huh. For not the hearers of the law are just before God, uh -huh. but the doers of the law shall be justified. So now is that a contradiction? Not the hearers of the laws are just before God, but the doers of the law shall be justified. Right. But yet he said we're not justified by the works of the law. Mm -hmm. Right? Does that contradict? What is the works of the law? Yeah, give me um, Numbers uh, 15 and 4. Sorry. Right? Give me um, Sirach 35 and verse 1. What is the works of the law? How are you doing, King? Where are you from? Eritrea. Eritrea? Yeah. Okay. What, what tribe? Huh? What tribe? Cabrillo. Cabrillo. Cabrillo, yeah. Probably, probably have. Probably have. Okay. Copy. Come, you got it? Yeah. Numbers 15 and verse 4. Is that the one you were talking about? 15, numbers 15 and 4. And it reads, Save, save when there shall be no poor among you. Huh? Oh shit, sorry bro. I was gonna say. Zalakia, bro. Zalakia, Zalakia, Zalakia. You had me tripping, bro. I had me tripping. There you go, go ahead, go ahead. Zalakia, Zalakia. You can go. Numbers. Numbers chapter 15 uh -huh. and verse number 4. Right. Then shall he that uh, then shall he that the offer of his offer of his offering unto the Lord uh -huh. bring a meat offering. Uh-huh. Uh, keep going. Sure. Bring a meat offering of yeah. temp dill uh -huh. of flour uh -huh. mingled with the fourth part of a hen of oil. Mm -hmm. And the fourth part of a hen of oil, of wine mm -hmm. for a drink offering right. shalt thou prepare. With, with the burnt offering of sacrifice for one lamb. So that's what we have to do. That's the works of the law. We have to give off sacrifices for all of our sins, right? So now we no longer have to do that because we... Before, did you see anything here? Do you know what's your nationality? I'm Italian. You're Italian? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. You know the Italians were the one that pays Christ? You know that? What do you think is going to happen to the Italians? Pastor myself. Oh, you're a pastor? Amazing! So you believe in Christ? Uh, I do, but I'm on my way to uh, the party. So you don't have a, two minutes to speak about God. If you're a pastor, yeah, you should do. I, 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 I give you two minutes anytime. I'll, t I'll take two minutes then, fine. So you say you're a pastor and you believe in, in Christ, right? You do. Is this Christ? Because that's a word who says it's Christ. It is? Okay, let's read the Bible. Give me a. Um, you know what you said, Dennis? I know, but before you even start, right, let me just 
I thought, I thought you, you got two minutes. Can I quickly read? I'll give you five minutes. Okay, I'll take five minutes. The black Rastafarian believe that Jesus, mm -hmm. not this. But we're not talking about black Rastafarian. I'm asking, you said you said that's Jesus. You did say that, right? That's what Jesus said. We Jesus, do not to believe. You said that's Jesus though, right? That's what you said. I asked you earlier. You said, it's a portrait of Jesus. Yeah, that's what I know. No, no, so you believe that's the portrait of Jesus? That's a portrait that everybody believes in. Right, right. Yes, I, 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 understand, I understand that. But my my question is, my question is, if, if that's... Let me give an explanation of why I think Hang on, 2,000 years ago, we never know cameras, we never know video footage. So, so who came up with this image then? This is the ancestors of Jesus Christ. So wait, wait, wait. The 12 disciples. No, but who came up with this image? Who came up with this image? Yeah. You said there was no there was no cameras, there was no none of that. So who gave us this? Give me give me uh, Revelation one. Start at ten. Read ten. From the Vatican, right? Listen to this. Revelation chapter one and verse ten. Uh -huh. I was in the spirit of the Lord of the Lord's day uh -huh. and heard behind me a great voice. So, so John John stood, he was in his spirit on the Lord's day. The Lord's day is a Sabbath day, a day like today. Gosh, well, it's gone down now. That's right. Well, well, John John said he was in his spirit and he heard a voice. Go on. And heard a great voice uh -huh. as, as of a trumpet, uh -huh. saying, "I am the Alpha and Omega, uh -huh. the first and the last. Uh -huh. And what thou what thou seest, write in a book. What? Write in a book. What thou seest, write in a book." He said, what thou seest, he said, what he no, listen, what he listen, yeah, of course, he said, whatever you see, write in the book, right? Right? That's what he said, right? Whatever you see, write in the book. Now go to 14. Let's finish this precept. Let's finish this precept. Revelation chapter 1 and 14. Go on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. He said, his head and his hairs were white like wool. This is talking about the description of Christ. This guy doesn't have wool in him. So that's strike one for the image you said that's Christ, right? Let's go. As white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. This guy's got baby blue eyes, like, like a soft, effeminate man. Right. Christ had, uh, Christ had uh, fiery eyes, like a strong man. Let's finish. Let's and his finish. feet like unto fine brass. And his feet like what? And his feet like unto fine brass. It said his feet like unto fine brass. Is your feet the same color as your body? It isn't. So if I look at your feet right now, you're, you're saying your feet is not going to be the same color as your face. So are you saying your feet is going to be as dark as mine? No, no, no. Are you saying your feet as dark as the mine? Oh, as dark as mine. I know where you're coming from. No, but you're not. You're not. You're not. Pastor, let's be. Let's be. Let's be. Let's be honest here. You're not being. You're not being genuine right now. No, no, no. You're not being genuine right now. Can you be genuine? Can you be genuine? You're a pastor, right? Have you had a drink? You see, that's probably why. You see, that's that's probably why. Why? But no, let, let's finish. Let's finish the first. Let's finish the first. Don't interrupt the word of the Lord. Finish the Lord. Finish the Lord. Don't interrupt. Uh, uh, not, you, you said five minutes. Let's finish this. His head and his hairs were white like wool, uh -huh. as, as white as snow, and his eyes were flame of fire, and uh -huh. his feet like unto fine brass, uh -huh. as if they burned in a furnace. He said his feet was like fine brass, as if it burned in a furnace. What color? Uh -huh. What color does brass? We don't what's find Jesus like that. But that's, the, that's in the Bible. So what, what, what Bible do you read? Listen, I use the Holy James Bible, but listen. Well, okay, can, can we can we get a version? Have you got a version so we can read? Yeah, yes, come to my parish. Wow. Where, where, so where, you is don't, where is that? Where is that? Where, where, we might come there one day. Yeah, so, I, I would love UC to. UC UK Church. What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? UC UK Church. UC UK. Brothers, write that down. We, we, got, another one, we got another one in Finchley Park. UC UK. UC UK. No, you said UC UK, I think. UC UK. UC UK. But before you say anything else, according to this image. Here it is. Here it is. See that? No, you said that was Jesus too. You, you said that's Jesus too, Pastor. 
Yeah. Pastor, so are you changing your mind now? You said that was Jesus when you started. We put it on camera. You said that's Jesus. You said that's the depiction of Jesus. That's what you said. But I asked you, what do you believe? You said that's Jesus. That's what you said. And I asked you who came up with it. You said the Vatican. That's what you said. So, now you're flip flopping. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going. Mm, nah, nah, it ain't gonna work. There's no, there's no UC UK church. It's UCKG. UCKG or UC UK? UC UK. is not. It doesn't even exist. Okay. Respect. This is the Jesus. Fucking respect. I know. Listen, I know. This is Jesus. That's about that's what? I set an offence about that's about what? That religion. I set an offence. We don't believe in religion. Listen, I set. An, we just let me finish. Go on. I set on the fence for many, many years uh -huh. about Christ, right? About the Bible, uh -huh. about everything surrounding Jesus Christ. Do you know why that was? Because the Bible was never given to you. That's right. So this is this is not God. It was never given to you. Hang on, let me just say Psalms to you. fifty and sixteen. Listen, you don't. Are you okay? Okay. Here's the thing, brother. First my back. It's not God. Three or four years. Give, give me, give me some. He has God. Psalms fifty and verse sixteen. He has a God. You, that's yeah. what you said. Yeah. And we just read out the Bible. He had skin like uh, burnt God grass. Said, and he had woolly hair. Hang on. This is not God. No. I never said that. You said that's Jesus though. No. This is what everybody no. believes is to be right. Inclu right. Including yourself. Right. Including yourself. Right. So you believe that. Right. But you know it's not right. right. You know it's not right, you see that? Right. We've got The pastor saying he believe he knows that that's not the right image of Christ, right. but you believe that anyway. But you, I never said he was. It's not God. It's a son of God. Yes, we know that. We, we're fully aware. This is, this is not Jesus. We're, oh, so now you admit it is in Jesus. Okay. So what, what did Jesus would look like then, according to the description that we read? Yeah, let me just before I go, listen. Let me, let me just say this. So you can get this in the right context. Now, if you look in the Bible, the first edition of the Bible, right, which is not available to the general public, it's only available to ordained priests. Right? There's four different versions of the Bible. Okay. That we know. Three thousand years ago, right? Jesus walked the earth. The Son of God. The Son of God put Jesus on the earth. Right? Huh? Huh? Hang on. Just bear with me. God put the Son of God on the earth. You mean? God put the Son of God on the earth. Right. When they crucified Jesus, they crucified the Son of God. And who did who did the crucifixion? Pontius Pilate. Right. So Pontius Pilate and his people. Was it was it not the Romans? Was it? No, forget the Romans. Okay. Trying to skip judgment, right? Bang upon in the earth. People were fighting of him because he done new things that no one ever seen before. Yeah. Right. That's what we're doing right now. We're tearing down strongholds. Now you're contesting that. We're showing that. We're showing that your people would actually be the devil. The Bible speaks of. Right. See last night. Did you see the big event up here last night? I didn't. I'm not from here. Five hundred sixty three. Yeah. Right. Right. That's not that's not really relevant to me. That's not really relevant. Let me listen to this. First Maccabees chapter three and forty eight. Listen to this. First Maccabees chapter three, verse forty eight. And laid open the book of the law. This is what your people did. You laid open the book of the law. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. So this is what you've done. You've opened our books and you painted your own images. That's what you've done. Because we just Red, it's Christ had woolly hair. Oh, it is exactly. So, what do you think is going to happen? 
What do you think is going to happen when Christ comes back? Give me Isaiah 14. Isaiah 14 and 21. So the people are going to rebel when they find out. Because this is, listen, I'm a pastor. I trained for 10 years. Okay. As a priest. Right. It took me seven years to get ordained. Okay. Now, my beliefs are not welcomed in the church that I work in. Why is that? What, do, what do you believe? believe? Because that's a believe in tradition of Jesus. But so who is Jesus? 2,000 years ago, right? But, no way. So who, who is Jesus? What would Jesus have looked like? You believe Jesus walked in the flesh, right? Yes. So what would he have looked like when he was walking around? Yeah. But what would he, I didn't say what wouldn't he have looked like. See, they, they love to do that, man. They'll never tell you what it is. They'll tell you what it is. In the country, listen, let me just finish. In the country that he was in, uh -huh. he'd be right, 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 That's true. Right, right, right. But we, we just... Hang, 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 hang on. If you look at the, in the book of Jerusalem, and you the book go of to Jerusalem. Psalms, go to Psalms 28, verse 5. Right? What book is that? The rest of Varian. Boy, if you don't get... Believe. Wow, you're in all sorts of madness, huh? No, it's not. Well, that's the very... You got that, um, Psalm 15, 16? Where is that? You ask for Master Fair, New Jesus. Yeah, can't read that. Read that. 15, 16. Listen to this, listen to this. Psalms, Psalms, chapter 50 and verse 16. Go on. But unto the wicked. But unto the wicked. Who do, who, who's the wicked of the earth? Come, come, us. Right. You're right. Come, You're come, right. Come. Go on. For unto the wicked, come. God saith, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth? So the Mosai said, What have you to do to declare his statutes, to talk about his book, or to take his statutes? You're a drunk pastor. That's what I'm saying. No, no. You're a pastor and you're drunk. Stop it. Get some help. That's yeah, because you're all into sodomy, man. Read, uh, Osunake, read that, read that. Read. The English people, right, and our mind, you know, there's no issue, but we're not black, man. But, in God's eyes, we're all the same. No, we're not. Now, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of, what kind of, what I beg your pardon? Six. Are we all the same? We're all the same. Do you believe that, yeah? Okay, listen. I can give you wrong. <laughs> well, yeah, go <laughs> on. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, now, bring this on out first. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. This is like a good 21. Verse 21. Uh -huh. Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare slaughter. Now prepare blessings. Prepare slaughter. Go on. For his children. For who? For his children. Go on. For the iniquity of their fathers. For what? For the iniquity of oh, their fathers. Father. Go on. That they do not rise, uh -huh. nor possess the land, uh -huh. nor fill the face of the world with cities. So we're, we're supposed to prepare slaughter for the for the children. You're the children for the iniquity of your fathers, the Romans who crucified Christ, the Romans who created all these religions. If you don't believe in me, Jesus, who said that? Who said that? What what book is that? What book? Of, chapter and verse. Psalms what? You see that? You're just winging it. Of course. Bring that. Out. <laughs> Same last uh, verse. Deuteronomy chapter seven and verse six. For what? thou, for thou art an holy people. This this book is written to the Israelites. In case you didn't know, right? The Israelites. This is who Moses is talking to. That's right. For thou art an holy people uh -huh. unto the Lord thy God. Go on. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people uh -huh. unto Himself, uh -huh. above all people. No equal to. Above uh -huh. all people. Now we're all the same. Above uh -huh. all people. Now we all bleed red. Above, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So according to that verse, are the Israelites above all people that are upon the face of the earth? Yes or no? We ran two thousand years ago. So God changed. Hang on, let me out. So did God change? Which we ran two thousand years ago. What is that relevant? Does, did God change? Which we ran two no, he wasn't. But did God change? No, I thought I was. I was no, technically, yeah. I was. I was so the Bible, the Bible. So, so now you don't believe in the Bible. Uh, you see that? Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Come on, man. Bible. Which which Bible is that? Okay. <laughs> you see that? You see that? You're wicked, man. You're wicked. <laughs> God came down there and strike me down right now. You see that? It's all, it's all of it blasphemy. It's all, all of what is blasphemy? The Bible, listen. 
if you look, if you go back to the Vatican and you look at the tablets the Bible that have been made in the last 2,000 years, one Bible that speaks to So every, every, other, every other Bible speaks in, lies? I've read, I've read about 10 different Bibles. No, you haven't. Stop lying. James Stop the, the cap! Stop the cap, man! Go. Yeah. You have not read all the Bibles, man. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Right? Give me, give me Isaiah 28, man. Look at him. Nobody's chasing him. <laughs> he just came... Hey, the most I just manifested oh, it. He just wanted us to just watch him get cut up. Oh, Bring that out, man. Oh, That's <laughs> like your problem. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1 yeah. The wicked flee uh -huh. when no man pursue it uh -huh. But the righteous are bold as a lion but The righteous are bold as a lion We we chase after that old man Call himself a, a, a pastor Right? He just wanted to get cut Lusting for the sword man Drunk and, and he's going to another party yeah, yeah, yeah. You see that? Freaking off So what was he here before? <laughs> yeah, yeah, isn't it? That's a good down for you. Three drinks. Yeah, three drinks. That's the Wow. Oh my day. That that's that's made my night. This church don't exist. It don't, it don't. You see you see UK. Can't even find it. You can't, yeah, find, can't it. find it. I asked him twice, so you see you see KG, do you mean? He said no 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 no, you see UK. They said Wait, what he said don't exist. <laughs> Off, off, man. But yeah, all praises, man. All praise, all praise. I'm gonna get a couple more. We're gonna, pack them up. we're gonna leave it as that. Um, yeah, give me. Uh, what was you on? We'll miss you on 13. No, I've read the numbers, right? Okay. Numbers 24. Um, yeah, Sirach 35. Go on, push up. Sirach 35 and one. And, I'm coming away from Manchester to cut up the heaven. Hey, all praises, man. Shut up, man.